In this video, we'll look at how Wayrider TG operates on a signal with a wide dynamic range. I'll be using a bass track that has some uneven notes as an example. Just watch how easy it is to improve the shape of your signal before you start mixing. Let's have a listen to the track and bypass. Okay, so that's definitely in need of some level tweaking. First of all, you can use WaveRider TG without having to enable automation. When I hit play, you see the activity meter is indicating whether it's attenuating or increasing the gain. But the beauty of automation is that it gives us so much more flexibility. Let's enable automation. It'll default to write mode. On each DAW, it's a little different, but make sure global automation is not suspended and plugin automation is enabled. You have to also make sure that volume parameter of WaveRider TG is also enabled for automation if it's not already by default. And the track we'll be working with needs to be on latch automation mode, not touch. Let's run WaveRider TG. Well, that sounds pretty consistent to me already. Just to show you the visual representation of what TG has just done, let's put it on read mode and commit the process and have a look at the resulting waveform. Looking at the two waveforms, you can see that the signal is evened out greatly. Differences between the louder parts and softer parts have reduced remarkably, yet retaining the peaks and the overall construction of the signal. No damage done. You can now run the signal into your favorite chain of other processing to achieve a consistent result no matter how dynamically challenging it may be.